We are going to give newbies a guide of how to get into crypto. And yes, right now is probably a good time to get into crypto. If not right now, just wait for the next dip of more than 5%. That's how you get into crypto. Right now, we are. I do not think we are at the top of the bull market. I think there's a lot of room left up to go just based on regulatory stuff that's favoring crypto right now and uh, also based on um, the Fed about to cut interest rates and tether printing right now. And also like BlackRock, Fidelity and everything, they're still buying up the Bitcoin ETS. If you want to wait until the election to buy crypto, you might be um, in a little bit of a dis a bit of a disappointment because if Trump wins, it's definitely going up. If Harris wins, there might be a slight pullback before going back up. But you are basically uh, depending on a Harris win to buy lower and then pumping back up. Whereas like if Trump wins, it's just going to go up. So I think right now is a pretty good time to hedge your bets and get in some crypto right now. Where should you buy? Well, if you're an American customer, I think you should buy an on-ramp via Coinbase or Kraken. Yes, there is some KYC AML, and you do have to use the ACH from your bank. The ACH from your bank, once you transfer to Coinbase, you can buy with it right away, but you won't be able to move your coins off of Coinbase until the ACH stuff comes through. Some of you don't like the KYC AML, but if you want to uh, onload with USD, you kind of have to do that. And really, to get the first step started, that's what I recommend you do. Do a Coinbase or Kraken, sign up for an account. Not really that hard to do. So definitely go for that on-ramp option. Obviously, you can go with the peer-to-peer -peer transactions, but that's a little bit more risky, obviously. I mean, you can meet someone in a dark alley, give them money, and then they give you the Bitcoin. But that might result in you giving them money, them beating the crap out of you, and you not getting any Bitcoin. So I would not actually do that. So just go, into, go to on-ramp via Coinbase or Kraken and get your Bitcoin. Obviously, I would suggest a hard wallet. I've had to learn this the hard way. I've gotten like, you know, hacked twice on uh, and lost my money twice on, um, you know, like hardware, uh, not like software cold wallets. Hardware hot, hot wallet is the way to go. This one's a Lipple. This uh, will actually be in the first, um, this will be in the first comment, basically pinned comment. Uh, use my link. You can get 10% off using my code. So essentially... Uh, Lipple wallet. You can also get the cheaper version, which is the Lipple, I think, Mini Titan. You can also go with like Ledger Nano, Trezor. Ledger is the most popular one. They're all fine. Yes, there has been a lot of FUD about Ledger Nano. And basically um, that, you know, a lot of customer data was actually leaked out. But that was always do some phishing attempts. And there was, I think, was, um, they never admitted it, but I do think there was some eternal, internal like, um, play there too but none of the customer funds ever got stolen from that and it's a lot safer than keeping it on the exchange or the hard wallet uh, or or i mean or a uh, hot wallet um like phantom etc and keeping it on a hard wallet unless you lose the hard wallet uh you generally are okay with your funds because you do need the hard, hard wallet to sign any transactions just follow the instructions on any of the hard wallets or there's other youtube videos about how how to use the hard wallets but you will actually want a hard wallet. Hard wallets always come with a seed phrase. My seed phrase is in this box, which I will be burning after this video uh, because then you can't have access to it. I have programmed the seed phrase into my brain, straight into my brain using Elon's computer chips. So um, I will always remember it, but you should probably not use the brain computer chips because that that might allow him to commandeer your brain but anyways use definitely a hardware wallet a lipple especially if you have over like five hundred dollars in crypto if you don't have over five hundred dollars in crypto i think it's fine to use a hot wallet or just keep it on the exchange it's really not that much and these hardware wallets cost maybe like a hundred dollars themselves for a good one so it may not be worth it but if you have over five hundred dollars definitely use a hard wallet even if you don't have five hundred dollars like if you plan to actually stay in crypto in the future I would actually get a hardware wallet just for the future. Now, in terms of what you should buy, if you're a newbie, 
I would just suggest Bitcoin. If you're a newbie and you have, and especially if you haven't invested in any other things, stay away from leverage and the stuff that a lot of the other influencers are promoting. Yes, they'll say like, hey, it's a great way to make money really fast, but it's also a great way to lose all your money. Get familiar with the market first. Time in the market beats time pending, uh, time beats time like trying to time the market. So like time in the market greater than trying to time the market. I also wouldn't pay too much attention to the charts and graphs right now. I would just buy and hold. That's basically the best cumulative strategy. People that dollar cost average in, which means you buy uh, basically every time it dips or rises up to a certain point, generally have a much better performance than people that invest off of news and trying to like time the bottom or the tops and people that try to invest off of technical analysis on the timing and the tops. That's true in the stock market and in the crypto market as well. In fact, um, generally of the even the top crypto uh, investors in the stock market, about 90% of them fail to actually beat the S&P 500 average. And that's just as true in the crypto market. Uh, even if you just buy Bitcoin and hold, you know, every four years, you get like three, 400% return. And although you're hearing massive returns of 1,000%, 2,000%, that's generally relatively few people compared to the rest of the market. Those people that try to time the market or that try to buy the smaller coins usually end up losing. I know we talk a lot about those coins on this particular channel because people are interested in those coins, but mess, many of us have actually been in the market for several years. You know, we're getting used to like buying the rumors, selling the news, and what the meme coins and stuff are getting up to. But if you're new in the market, buy Bitcoin or buy Ethereum and prepare to hold it for a couple of years. But if you have a target in mind, like, you know, if I get 300 times what I buy and now I'm gonna sell, you should follow that target. And the thing is like always be able to stick to your guns, sell at the point that you want to sell at. If you have a goal and it reaches that goal, sell and don't have any regrets on selling. Don't try to like time the market. Don't try to like look at charts or stuff to time the market perfectly. If you get your, you know, three, four X, you should sell at that point and take profits. Don't depend on crypto trying to like a Bitcoin trying to replace the dollar or anything. Just take your profits and enjoy your money and then reallocate your profits back into crypto at a set point that you have a goal on. Like if Bitcoin goes to 150k for instance, this particular market which is I think is going to be the top or so and you can say like hey, if it dumps back to 50k, I will buy back in. So don't buy back in until it dumps back to 50k or at least close to 50k. Basically set goals and act on those goals uh, and and uh, not don't try to time the market directly. Get a hardware wallet. And I think like this is your first cycle. I would actually stick with Bitcoin or Ethereum because I still think there's a lot of profit to be made in those coins. Also, don't listen to crazy ass conspiracy theories and don't listen to like sky high theories about how you can turn in a thousand dollars into like ten million dollars, especially if you're on the major coins. Avoid cults. Uh, avoid like you know. Uh, avoid groups like the Bitcoin Maxis, the XRP Army, the Link Marines and all that stuff. That just sucks you into a cult and you start believing in crazy ass theories about how your coin can take over the world. And that does not do you well in investing. So that's my advice for getting started. Remember the hardware wallet. Uh, remember to you know onboard via like trusted exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken. And remember not to join these crypto cults and stick with Bitcoin or Ethereum if you are completely new to the market and do not play leverage. So that's, a new, that's uh, what I have to say for this subject. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.